hey everyone in this video we want to check the performance of tomb raider 2013 on the steam deck let's get started right away we'll start with the low graphical preset as you can see we get a stable 90 fps on the steam deck however the graphics look really bad so i wouldn't recommend this setting on the plus side you get about two and a half hours of battery life with this setting so if you want to play for longer periods you can choose this setting but as I said, I wouldn't recommend it. So let's check the medium or normal preset. As you can see, the graphics are noticeably better and you still get a stable 90 FPS with about two hours of playtime. The GPU usage is slightly higher than with the low preset, but the Steam Deck still manages to maintain 90 FPS without any problems. Let's see how the Steam Deck handles the high preset, because this is where things get interesting. Here we have the high preset. For the first time, the Steam Deck can't maintain 90 FPS, dropping to about 83 FPS on average. The graphics do look a bit better than with the medium preset, but the difference isn't as significant as between low and medium. If you really want to play at a stable 90 FPS, you'll need to stick with the medium preset. However, if you're okay with slightly lower FPS, the high setting is still a solid choice. Now onto the ultra settings. With these settings, we get about 70 FPS on average. So if you're okay with a stable 60 FPS in your games, this is the setting for you. The graphics look great for an 11 year old game and you get about one and a half to two hours of battery life. I recommend locking the FPS to 60 on your Steam Deck for some extra battery life. We also experience some frame drops to around 58 FPS, which is why locking the frame rate at 60 FPS would be best for the ultra settings. Finally, let's check the ultimate settings. Here we get between 33 and 62 FPS with an average of 44 FPS. The Steam Deck still performs quite well and the graphics look excellent. If you choose to play at these settings, I recommend locking the frame rate to 45 or even 30 FPS. This makes the game still playable while allowing you to experience the ultimate settings. And that's it for today's video. If you enjoyed it and want to see more, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. If you have any other games you'd like me to check out, leave a comment below. Thanks for watching and have a great day.